Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you a card similar to this. I like this bit, but I don't like the background, so we're going to change that. And I'm changing the colour. To do this card, I used a card base of 8.25 by 5.78, scored, folded in half. And I'm using so saffron this time. And I've got a piece for the inside and oh, sorry, I never give you any sizes. This is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths, and I've also got some scrap for the birds, flowers and leaves. I've also got a doily. Um this is a spellbinder's doily. I found a bag, all different colours I must have cut out one day. And so I'm going to use this, a white one. And I've also got some lace. Can you tell I've had a sort out of finding all this stuff I don't use? And this, I believe, is retired. I know they have lace trim in the catalogue now. It just says lace trim, approximately five yards. And it's very vanilla. Well, I'm going to use that on that. Uh, what else am I going to use? Stamps. I'm going to use Free as a Bird and we're going to use the bird on its own. This flower, this little flower and the leaves. And I'm going to use the crackle paint on the back. Ground. <laughs> yeah. So, let's get started. I need this, I need this. I'm going to use crumb cake. So I've got my crumb cake ink and I'm going to ink this up. God knows what this is going to look like. But I hope it looks nice. But I need some scrap paper. Got some. Right, I'm going to pop that on there. And a bit of scrap on top. Rub it on. clean cloth I give it a wash right got that right in the back there don't need that no more all right and now we're going to stamp, should have done these first, but never mind. Stamp our images we need, because we've got to fussy cut them. Well, I don't have to fussy cut them now because I've already done it. But I don't mind doing some more. Right, that was the bird. This is the larger flower and we need three of them. leaves we needed I think it's four yeah four of these so that's one two three four four leaves Right, 
and I think it's just two of these little ones. One, two. Put my box on that side. Right. Colour these in. We'll colour the leaves in first. All I did was old olive light. I'm only going to colour one of each in and I'll cut it out. Um, Daffodil Delight for the flowers. Ow. All I did on the flowers was like that. Just in the middle. And the, you'll see there's bits folded up. Then the bird, hmm, I've just looked at my bits on the table and I haven't got any big flowers here. And I've got two flowers not coloured in. Oh, I wonder what I've done with the big flowers I cut out. look because I did cut out a load of stuff um, right the bird I use petal pink light for his chest then I used crumb cake I coloured it roughly. Then I used bronze. Did I do that? Can't remember what I did. just went where all the black lines are And then I took soft suede and just went round the edges with the soft suede. And with Daffodil Light again, I just coloured in his beak. And that is all I've done. Right. With my paper snips, I just went all around the
easier if you don't have a great big card on you. There's my bird. And then my flowers. Went over the edge there when I was colouring. going off camera here because the whole point of this was to cut them on camera there's a leaf well, that's what I need not that I needed the bird and the leaves I need some flowers of these out so I don't know what I've done with the ones I've cut out I should probably put them back in their packet <laughs> one flower The other ones won't go to waste because I'll use them on a different project. I keep saying that on my box of stuff I don't use is getting quite full. In fact what I need to do is pull it out on camera and see what cards I can make out of what's in the box. I might actually do that. Two. And last one. I'm quite surprised I never bought a die out to cut these out. Because the dies to go with this are them, I don't know what shape they're called. I have got them. Double diamond <laughs> triangles. I don't know what shape they are. There we are. Don't need that. Get rid of that. Right. Bring this back in. My plan was to use that to have the leaves like that. To have the bird sitting in the middle and then have these big flowers hiding his feet. And 
some litter flowers. Around like that. And then got some little bit of lace underneath and have it dangling down. Hmm. So let's stick some lace on the back of this. So I want a couple of bits I think. these ends Mini glue dots. Put one there. And fold that in half. Ages since I used glue dots. And we need some glue. because I bet my glue's jammed. Let's move that out of the way. Right. the wrong one. It's better. And him. I'm going to glue him there. Now these going to glue two flat and then where's the third one? I'm going to put the third one on dimensional so glue that one flat glue that one flat And then 
these little ones I think I'll put them on dimensionals this leaf and put it underneath here and I'm going to add a little flower there and that will all sit on there Hmm, don't know if I like this lace. together. What do you reckon? Nah. could stamp our sentiment at the bottom. Yeah. And our sentiment is going to be the world needs more the world needs more of you. That's what I'm going to put in there. And I'm just going to stamp that flat on the card. Like that. Yeah, I think I like that. So let's glue this down. See why I don't use the lace. <laughs> I'm never happy with it. Place this inside. Because I see I've got a spare flower and a spare bird. that 
his feet. Rather than waste it. And then all we need to do is add some gems. You might think this all looks nice and tidy. You ought to see the sides. Right mess. So I've got some gems here. Right. Definitely going to put three of these. One there. One there. On there. Then yeah, I use these ones. A little tiny one next to it. There you have it. Don't be like that. It's a bit more, not as boring as this one. Or plain, should I say. You just one, you? So if you like that, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.